Lots of organization, cleaning up my mess, and getting prepared to film the Christmas series with Sarah. So November 28th, Saturday, 2020. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I've actually been up since 5.30. Um, where I live, we get really strong winds when like, like it'll snow and then we get really strong warm winds called a Chinook. And it like takes all the snow away. Anyway, the winds last night were like 100 kilometers an hour. And uh, I woke up at 5.30 and like went to the washroom and stuff and then tried to go back to sleep and I just could not fall back asleep. So I was going to try and go back to sleep and then I'm like, you know what, Talia, just get up and work. So what we have going on today, welcome to another video of Sarah's and my collaboration. Um, you guys are watching the behind the scenes of filming for the series. Uh, it's a studio vlog. You guys know how my studio vlogs go. They're kind of random, kind of all over the place. So leading up to this Christmas series for me, I have had a, like, a lot of video work to get done. Uh, so I currently have a video that I'm editing right now for Black Friday. Black Friday was yesterday, but it's for Clear Jelly and Coco and Claire and it's on all weekend. So I'm going to get this one edited and then uploading and then probably by that point go upstairs and get ready and all that jazz and this is the last video that I have to do before I can actually like spend more time working on uh, Sarah's and my Christmas series so today is gonna be filming for the Christmas series um, my studio is a hot mess like when I spend time just filming and editing and not doing anything else my studio just gets so bad so we're gonna spend a little bit of time tidying it up before I can actually get filming uh, I would like to set my Christmas tree up today which is one of the videos it's a day of filming, a day of tidying, but priority number one right now is for me to get this video up. I am back now <laughs> that I've like actually got ready for the day. Uh, I thought about like refilming my intro and stuff and I was like, you know what? No, like that is just hashtag real life behind the scenes of a content creator. Um, so it's 9.30 now. I probably finished working about eight o'clock and um, my video uploaded so I just need to do thumbnail, link, post on social media, that sort of thing. It'll probably take me about an hour to get all that done. Uh, and then I'm gonna do some shopping on the nail throne because I'd like, Sarah shared this like powder in one of her videos. It wasn't a glitter, it was like just a, just a powder. Like it just looked like snow. And I'm like, I want that. And I also wanna try some Glitter Bells gel polishes. You guys have been asking for uh, my thoughts and opinions on them. So I wouldn't mind getting a video done, probably not till the new year on those. So I need to do a little bit of, um, like content planning too for our Christmas year. I like to reply to comments like as soon as my video goes up. And then I kind of just leave my video do its thing for a little bit. And then I will likely check in like around lunchtime again too. And if I have time later tonight too. But I try to reply to most comments that come in on the first day right away if I can. There's some days that I just, I just cannot get to replying to comments um, with all the other things that I have to do. But I really, I've said this so many times, my favorite part about social media is the social aspect of it. Uh, so I really do like engaging with you guys. It's just... I don't know, trying to balance all of the things. I'm sure you guys know how it goes. I don't think I've shared this planner yet. You guys know me, I'm such a planner junkie, but this one is just from Amazon. I got this to kind of fill in the gap from like October until the new year for me because I just was not reaching for, what planner was I using? Oh, my Kit Life Weekly. Um, I was just finding it like a little bit too bulky to kind of carry around now that I'm running a little bit more errands with taking my daughter to school and stuff. Um, so anyway, I wanted something a bit smaller. This is called a Legend Planner. You can just find it on Amazon. I'll leave some links in the description box below. What I liked about it though is it kind of combines like a goal planner, monthly planner, weekly planner, as well as like personal and professional, which is something that I really like about it. So this uh, section here, awareness to self-discovery, my dreams, life goals, uh, vision board, and then you have your one-year goals here. 
strategy to achieve goals, daily rituals. I love this section. Obviously I haven't filled it out, but I do love it. Three month goal. Then you head into your monthly sections and the monthly is completely undated. So you can start it whenever you want or what I like about it is I can use it whenever I want. And there's some weeks where I just haven't used it, especially in November when like things with my mental health were just not good. I was just not utilizing my planner. And instead of wasting those pages when I wasn't using it, I could just start it when I got back to using it. So after your month, you have a reflection of your month, your ideas and notes. Love this page. I use this a lot for content creation. Your weeks down here. And I love this layout. I love how it is a horizontal layout, um, which is something that I, I don't typically use. But because I don't have a ton of things to jot down and this space is super functional, I'm really enjoying this for just putting down uh, the different events that we have going on each day. And then over here is where I write my to-do list. I love how there's a work to-do list here, a personal to-do list here. Um, these headings I tend to change. I, especially with Christmas and stuff, have had a lot of packages coming in. So I've been tracking those in this section each week. And then I utilize this if I have errands to run or just as a general to-do list, but I'm just loving it. So anyway, I'm actually gonna put my Christmas series in the back here. Uh, that way I have it with me when I'm upstairs and for brainstorming. Uh, for the most part, I know what I wanna do for my different nail art themes and stuff. There are times when I'm upstairs and I'm like, oh, that'd be a really good idea for the Christmas series. I always have like such advantageous goals, but I do, I really need to start my compilation. We're gonna tidy, we're gonna clean this space up because I can't, there's no way I can mentally focus on this space if it's this messy. This is what we're working with to clean up before we get down to filming. So I'm just gonna do a speed clean. I'll film what I can for you guys, uh, but I want all of this cleaned up. Because a lot better this is just gonna have to stay this way for now because this is a continuation ongoing project I just don't have time for it. truthfully you guys I wish I had an assistant because this would be their job <laughs> to like organize my clear jelly stuff so I have all I think of the Christmas and winter stuff pulled out of here but I don't want to disorganize this because my mom was organizing it and I don't I honestly don't even really know what these piles are for all the different piles in here so I'm just leaving it until I can spend a Saturday figuring out that situation uh, but all of this is nice and tidied I actually moved some furniture around over here because I need to make room for my Christmas tree that I would like to have had done before I filmed the, um, some of the videos I'm gonna do today but I just don't have time so I think I am gonna put my Christmas tree here I was filming a vlog talking about where I wanted it to go but I think I'm just gonna put it here so these thing this thing here needs to move I'm gonna leave it there for today but I did need to make some room so that is what I spent some time doing and then I moved my beamy gel polishes up here for here it's tidied but I just have the stuff that I'm gonna put in my haul video out ready to go and I'm pretty sure that's everything that I wanted to feature in it uh, so I'm gonna get set up to do that haul video now I just finished filming my Christmas and winter nail art haul a ton of stuff to put away so I was actually thinking what I think I want to do is keep all of this stuff out somewhere like in some sort of bin or something that way I can just grab through it as I want to use it for my compilation video that I did with Sarah for Halloween uh, one of my biggest struggles was like finding the nail art that I wanted to use I knew I had what I like I knew I had some items I just could not like find them because they weren't kind of out so I'm thinking because these are all Christmas and winter related I am going to keep them all out and that way I can just grab what I need. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna spend some time doing here. I'm going to try and film my studio decor one and if I have enough time, I might 
start that, but um, for now, let's, we need to tidy this up again. Christmas and winter stamping plates, Christmas and winter nail art, I hopefully ready to go. Um, this is not all the Christmas and winter nail art that I have like in my collection. These are just all the new things. This in here too. I definitely want to make sure I'm utilizing this shoe set. I'm ready to go for my compilation videos. This is something I wish I would have done for Sarah's and my Halloween one, so that's great. You guys are likely gonna hear Rose running around upstairs. Um, she is awake from her quiet time. And we're going swimming today. So I know that she is really excited about that. We have not been swimming since August when the outdoor pools were open. I am just putting some of these um, tips that I just shared in my haul video in here. We are all ready to go for my compilation videos. I love this thing. It's seriously functioning so well for my videos. Um, mostly I use number two middle and in November I did so many swatch videos like this this entire thing I, with the exception of maybe one ring was um, from November swatches yeah like this would have been fall but other than that actually these two I think other than that I think all of these were November swatches for content creation I went through a ton of um, these little tips in November so I need to just restock them. These are the Ugly Duckling number two for number two pointed almond tibbies, in case you guys are wondering. And then the last ones for the Opry number four long square. the day when I was in university and I would prepare for like papers or um, exams or anything like that. This is exactly what I would do. I would like completely procrastinate and I would like clean my room or clean the house or something like and I remember reading somewhere and I know I've mentioned this before I just can't remember if it was on this channel or not but uh, I know that that is like a form of how you study when it comes to like being in school and your exams and stuff. Um, like all of it is kind of part of the studying process because when you're cleaning or doing whatever, organizing is usually what I tend to go to. Or thinking about what you're doing, you're planning, you're getting ideas in your head and that's exactly what happens to me is I like, I'm as I'm doing all of these things, I'm getting tons of ideas for different nail art that I wanna do for like the compilation videos or the separate tutorials or um, how I wanna decorate the nail studio. So it's all part of the process. At least that's what I tell myself, but I had hoped to get a little bit more filming done today and I need to call it a day because we were heading out swimming right away. So at least I'm all set up and ready to go. Um, I think one of the last things I want to do is pull my Christmas papers out again so they are ready for compilation videos because that is priority number one when I sit down to film um, as well as decorating the nail studio. But Besides the tree, I don't think decorating the nail studio is going to take too long, and I have a garland that I just ordered. Hey everyone, welcome to more of the behind the scenes of the studio vlog. So it's actually December 1st today, so Sarah's and my uh, collaboration video just went up today, the very first one, which is really exciting. I love the first day, and um, you guys know by now, obviously, that it's a little bit different this year. So I was really interested to see what you guys kind of thought about like the vlog style in some of the content. Um, I, I love filming vlogs. I know you guys like them too. And there will be tons of nail art too. So there's gonna be lots. Uh, so currently I'm filming our compilation videos. I'm filming the first one. And I haven't even, like I didn't even start it until today, which is so bad. Uh, usually at this point when Sarah and I do our 12 days of Christmas, I have usually filmed like at least half of my tutorials and then I would just have to like edit them the day before but this year I have like three videos filmed at this point like it's 
just not a good situation but um, I am not doing vlogmas this year obviously you guys can see that um, because honestly it was just way too much work last year I loved it but also I think a lot of the videos that I posted for vlogmas last year like my tricky nail art nail studio tour um, 2019 favorites those were really good videos that were like highly requested and I think because I was posting a video every single day you guys didn't even see them because like as far as notifications go and stuff because a lot of people don't even know I have those videos up so um, it just honestly for time standpoint and as well as like algorithm standpoint it just wasn't worth it to do a video every day in my opinion so anyway long story short clearly I'm in a talking mood today I thought I would show you guys just a little bit of behind the scenes of filming for our compilation series because I feel like when I did the Halloween one I did it like actually the hardest way possible um, I two camera filmed it which I'm finding out now is just like completely unnecessary um, it looked really cool in the video but it was a lot of work to edit um, to tie both of the cameras in to where I wanted them to go and um, as far as sorting went to it was just terrible um, to sort this footage so this year before I even started filming our Christmas series I cleared every single possible um, SD card off so I have so much footage in space which is great and so but then when I'm filming stuff it's a way easier to find things so that makes a huge deal whereas the Halloween one was just literally all over like 10 cards it was just a disaster uh, but I also set my filming space up a little bit better for filming the compilations and I thought I'd just share it because it's kind of cool how I have it set up and it's functioning really well which I like ignore the mess you guys obviously I'm in the middle of filming <laughs> Okay, so I moved this little organizer thing. This is from Michaels a long time ago. I don't even think they have this there anymore, but I'm so glad I jumped on it when I did because it holds all of my papers that you guys know that I use for filming the backgrounds in my videos. And for compilation videos, um, I like to switch the backgrounds for every single different um, tutorial or whatever that I'm doing. And then I just moved my little rings on top and then my little crystals on top just for backgrounds, but I'm, I'm truly just finding I'm not needing those for this style of video. And then on the desk, so a little bit of a desk tour for filming, um, I moved both of my little Christmas baskets that you guys saw, I think at the beginning of this video, over here. So these are functioning really well. I want my first compilations video, probably my second too, but my first one for sure to be focused on stamping because I've had so many requests for Christmas stamping videos and like how to use the different plates. So that's what this one is. I also have a returns basket here, which you guys can see I've clearly put some stuff back already. So I'm not even really using this, but it's just somewhere for me to throw everything in when I'm done filming each little segment. And then these are ready to go. So right now I'm just slowly working through all the different plates and the way that I get ideas for what I'm trying to film, um, I just grab a plate and just look at the images and see which ones I wanna use. <laughs> Um, and then yeah, this is functioning really well for me too. just having all my new Christmas stuff up here ready to go I always have a cloth on my lap. You guys know this It's just great if you get like glitter or chrome or gel on your fingers. It just takes it right off um, My snowflake plates are separated because I use these a ton and I didn't want them to get lost over in here And then this I don't even know if I'm gonna use much pixies But the main reason I have this out is I have some of the new polishes and then my sticky polishes that I'm using quite a bit for the tutorial over here right now are just the plates that I've already used and filmed and then I'm actually keeping my little tips so that I remember how many videos I've done uh, for the Halloween series. I didn't do this like I kind of put them somewhere else and couldn't find them and I had no idea how many videos I had actually filmed and Sarah and I have a certain number that we want to film. Um, phone is ready to go, camera's all set up ready to go. And then I also, I think I have an extra battery around here too, so it's just ready to go. Um, I taped my sticky pad down so that it's like just there and really easy for me to just quickly grab. Have my sponge ready to go here. And then I also have this dish here just for me to throw things in. So as I use my scraper, I tend to just chuck it and then I can never find it. If I give myself somewhere to throw it, then it's working really well. These are just some background props that I actually just have not been using. And then I do have all my fingers here ready to go so that I can switch them for the different videos. Stampers that I've been using right here. I need to find my little one though. Oh, it's right here. Because I want them just like out and like ready for me to grab. And then I also just have this little dish over here for my stamping um, covers. Again, because they just get thrown all over my desk and just take up way too much room. Uh, but it's functioning really, really well. I have my cart here and then the 
gel polishes I'm using for that video are all gonna be Coco and Claire. So I just have my drawers of Coco and Claire ready to go open there. But I was just thinking about it. And I was like, if those were in a cart, <laughs> that would just be so much easier. So part of me is trying to contemplate I know for sure, 100%, I want these out at some point, whether they like are displayed here or they go in a cart, I'm not entirely sure, but I use them all the time, so I want them somewhere visible, plus they're like beautiful, like they don't belong in a drawer. So. That is just how everything is going here for filming. It's actually functioning really, really well for me, and when I was filming the um, Halloween series, it was a nightmare. Like seriously, I was messaging Sarah every single day, and I'm like, what? Like, I think I did this the hardest way possible. This is terrible. What am I doing to myself? Especially when I was editing. But editing should, for this should be a lot easier too. So anyway, that's a little bit of behind the scenes for the compilation video. My plan today is to hammer out as many of these designs as humanly possible. And then hopefully I can do a tutorial too for our series as well. But I'm trying to take it a little bit slow because um, I've really been putting off doing this compilation video. I think just because I thought it was going to be as much of a disaster as the Halloween one was to film. Uh, but um, so far it hasn't been. And I've really been enjoying actually using a bunch of different nail art things. That's what I love about these compilation videos. I actually get to use the nail art that I feature for you guys. Like the tiny little things that I just think are so fun and so cool. So. Here, like officially but I have to show you guys like my new editing setup I grabbed another monitor from Costco so that I can have dual monitors and I'll show you what they do in case anybody doesn't know why I would want this sometimes when I'm editing I wish that I had another place to put everything else that I do so for example sometimes I have to copy and paste things in so I'd rather have my internet browser over here and then have my editing program over here and you can like be working off both this both of the screens they're split so they just like work into each other it's amazing I thought I'd include it in this part of the video because this goes along with the behind the scenes so anyway thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned there's still some more great videos coming up soon in collaboration with Sarah's Nail Secrets bye guys